The Crab Nebula, which is also called Messier 1, was the very first of 110 objects to be catalogued by the French astronomer Charles Messier. You know, he mistook this nebula for a comet the first time he observed it, but that's how the famous Messier catalog began. This colorful nebula is bright, and it's fairly easy to spot using a moderate telescope. But when you're using a scope like the one we have here, it isn't a problem at all. It's an interesting deep sky object because of its unique history. Ironically, on July 4th, 1054 AD, Chinese and Arab astronomers witnessed and recorded an explosion so bright, reports indicate that it could be seen for weeks in the daylight hours. Now we can look more closely at that area of the sky using telescopes, and what we see there is a supernova remnant. What they had seen was a fairly close supernova, an exploding star. And today, it appears that that nebula is expanding at a rate of almost 1,000 miles per second. Situated within the constellation Taurus, the nebula was first discovered by the English doctor and astronomer John Bevis in 1731 and was placed in the Messier catalog in 1758. Now, why did he call it the Crab Nebula? Well, the Earl of Ross observed and he made a drawing of the nebula that looked an awful lot like a crab. <laughs> Even today, you can kind of visualize a crab shape. Now the central star in M1 is a good example of a pulsar, which emits a powerful pulse of radiation once every 33 milliseconds. The variety of stars that we can see and study is simply amazing. You know, 1 Corinthians 15.41 tells us that there's one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. I'm David Reeves. Truly, the heavens declare the glory of God. Like what you're seeing? Want more? Be sure to hit the subscribe button to be notified as soon as we put up new videos and content.